second kings chapter number four examine with me from verse number 17 he said but the woman conceived and bore a son when the time appointed had come which Elisha spoke and told her verse number 18 and the child grew and now it happened one day that he went out to his father to the reapers and he said to his father my head my head and so he said to his servant carry him to his mother and when they had taken him they brought him to his mother and he sat on his mother's knees until noon and then he died put your hand on your head say not my head i don't know if you're here put your foot on the ground say not my head not the head of my son not the head of my daughter come and say not my head you are too quiet tonight say not my head not the head of my loved one not the head of my children not the head of my siblings somebody said not my head mm, god bless you you may be seated child of god hear me as i tell you the scripture we just read is a profound scripture that buttresses the point I try to tell you every time that life is spiritual and any man that um, plays on the spirituality of life we pay severely the Bible says in 1st John chapter 3 and 8 he said for we know that the whole world lies in wickedness there is wickedness everywhere and child of God that is why you must be prayerful you must be full of prayer because our defense in the realm of the spirit is the instrument of prayer when you don't pray you are exposing yourself child of God it is time for you to learn the art of prayer in Matthew chapter 14 when you read in verse number 8 there was a witch by the name of Herodias he said I want the head of John the Baptist tell somebody not my head the woman said I want the head of John the Baptist tell somebody not my head when you read in 2nd Kings in 1st Kings 19 and verse number 3 the Bible says a witch by the name of Jezebel she vowed and said Elijah was surely going to die a witch vowed that a man of God will die tell somebody not my head the Bible says in Acts chapter number 13 when you read Acts chapter number 23 when you read in verse 12 and 13 the Bible says that 40 matured witches 40 matured witches they came under an altar they vowed that they will not eat or drink until Paul was dead and they vowed that they will not eat or sleep until Paul was dead I came with anger in my system any man or woman that has vowed that this year you are supposed to cry I came to prophesy what the imagine will backfire the Bible says it says evil shall slay the wicked any man that has vowed against you any man that has made a decree that you will not cross this year that your children will not cross this year I came to decree he that digs a pit shall fall into that pit whatever they have imagined against you it will backfire it will backfire it will backfire if they wake up at night to call your name before a shrine it will backfire if they go to a cover to make incantation it will backfire if they sit on the floor to make a charm it will backfire i came to tell you no weapon formed against you shall prosper and every tongue that rise against you it shall be condemned shut fire three times shut up 
again Shout again Hear me The story that we read The Bible says a woman Her only child Somebody say only child When you read The preceding verses This woman She was barren all her life She had no child She was a rich woman if money can buy children this woman we have a dozen if influence can bring children this woman we have dozens because she was not just wealthy she was a woman of influence in the community but because of her good heart she opened her heart to a man of God by the name of Elijah the Bible says every time when Elijah will pass the house of this woman this woman said to her husband I perceive that this man is a holy man of God let us create a room for him so that any time he's passing he will enter and recline and relax and the Bible says they created the room for this man of God to have a place and because of that devotion because of that seed that they sowed in the life of a man of God the Bible says in one of those days when Elisha entered the house he said woman what can I do for you do you want me to announce you to the king the woman said I am already friends with the king do you want money the woman said I'm a rich woman and Gehazi said this woman she has no son she has no child and Elijah said if I be a man of God he said by this time next year you will conceive you will bring forth a child and when this woman heard the prophecy she said to Elijah he said Elijah don't lie to me you don't know what I've done to get a child I have done IVF I have done everything I have done surrogate I have tried every option available in the book until now I have no son Elijah said if I be a man of God by this time next year you will carry your child can I pause a professor can I pause a professor can I pause a professor I don't know what you are trying to achieve all these years I don't know the door that could be open for you but I came to a professor as you hear the sound of my voice by this time year your dreams are coming to pass i say your dreams they will come to pass all that you have believed god for they will come to pass i professor what you don't have today you will have it tomorrow i professor what doctors could not do god will do it for you what your certificate could not bring grace will do it for you god will surprise you Power will surprise you. Glory will surprise you. I don't know who you are, but get ready. What God is about to do, eyes have not seen, ears have not heard. It has not entered the heart of man. What God will do, it shall be good measure. It shall be pressed there. It shall be shaken together. It shall be running over. You don't serve a dead God. You serve a mighty God. He's the same yesterday. He's the same today. He's the same forever. When God says yes, no man can say no. When God lifts you up, no man can pull you down. God is on your side. Power on your side. Grace on your side. Lifting on your side. Lift one hand shot fire. Raise another hand shot fire. Raise one leg shot fire. Raise another leg shot fire. Turn around shot fire. Scatter yourself on a fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shot fire. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shot fire. Yeah, 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 yeah. Somebody said, come on, Holy Ghost. So, child of God. After several decades of waiting, she has abandoned hope that she will ever conceive. 
Now because she connected to a grace. What doctor said was impossible happened to her. When Elijah said by this time nature you will carry a child. He said man of God please don't lie to me. He said he will see if my God is a man that he should lie. Not the son of man that he should as he said that. I like what the word of God says. The Bible says and it came to pass according to the time that Elijah prophesied. According to the time that Elijah prophesied the word of God it became flesh. According to the time that was prophesied I am here to announce to you I don't know what you don't have today but I give it to you by prophecy. I said take it by prophecy. I said get married by prophecy. Carry your baby by prophecy. Carry your job by prophecy. Carry your turn around by prophecy. I prophesy it will happen to you. So please watch it. So watch it now. The Bible says that when the miracle finally happened, the child grew. The woman expectations are through the roof. All of these wonderful plans. My son will have the best. Best school, best this, best that. But the Bible said they woke up one day. The child was not sick. There was no headache. There was no sickness. No prior medical condition. There is nothing that we can say that up until that time was physically wrong with the child. The child went to hang out in the field with his father. But while he was in the field, all of a sudden he began to cry. My head. My head. Somebody said, not my head. Put your foot on the ground said, not my head. Put your foot on the ground said, not my head. All of a sudden, without warning, the child began to holler, that in my head. That in my head. That in my head. What is going on? I don't know. But there is a pain in my head. This father was not spiritual. He thought it was mere headache. He thought the boy was being lazy. He said, take the boy. Take him to his mother. The Bible says, as they brought the child home, the child sat on the mother's lap. And at noon time, the Bible said the child died. I came to professor. The enemy are prepared for you and your children in this last four months of the year. I came to professor. You have escaped it. You have escaped it. You have escaped it. You have escaped it. You shall not die. Your children won't die. Your daughter won't die. Your son won't die. You will not cry. You will not lose a child. You will not lose your husband. You will not lose your wife, professor. man or woman that has fired the arrow of death as amen leaves your mouth I fire it back I fire it back I fire it back that arrow they fired from your father's house I fire it back the arrow they fired from your mother's house I fire it back the arrow they fired from the shrine I fire it back I fire it back I fire it back I fire it back The child woke up had breakfast Nothing wrong No fever No temperature The child went out to play Only for him to get somewhere in the field of play my head my head somebody say not my head the bible say at noon somebody say at noon how do we understand what happened now child of god when you run to psalm 91 
you will understand what killed this child. You need to run to Psalm 91. In verse number 1, the Bible says, He that dwells in the secret place of the Most High God shall abide under the shadow. I feel power now. Shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. In verse number 2, the Bible says, I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. In Him will I trust. In verse number 3, the Bible says surely he will deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence in number four he says he says in number four he will cover thee under with his feathers and under his wings shall thou trust his truth shall be the shield and thy butler in verse number five he said thou shalt not be afraid of the terror by day the terror by night or the arrow that flyeth by day child of God the arrow that killed this child is started at midnight when men slept the enemy began to sow pleasure they shot the arrow at night and in the daytime he hit the child my head my head I came to prophesy not your head not your head I said not your head. 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 Say not my head. Say not my head. Say not my head. Say evil arrow. Go back to sender. Say evil arrow. Go back to sender. Say evil arrow. Go back to sender. What I feel now is a judgmental anointing. All of you watching online, all of you watching online, type it now, say backfire. Say evil arrow backfire. Type it now, say evil arrow. Say backfire. Wherever you are watching from, whether you are in America or you are in Asia or you are in, in, in any part of the world, as you type backfire, let every evil arrow backfire. Let it backfire. Let it backfire. Can I talk to you? The only child of the woman. The only child of the woman. The only child of the woman. She has no other one. The enemy is wicked. The only miracle child. A child that this woman waited for all her life. If she was to exchange her wealth to get a child, she would have done it years ago. The only thing that was of value to this woman was the only thing they took. Child of God, the devil is wicked. And that is why you don't mess with the devil. You don't pamper the devil. The devil is not for pamperment. The devil is for damage. You don't pamper the devil. You hammer the devil. If you remove D from the devil, he's still evil. Are you hearing me, church? Child of God, hear me as I tell you. It is you now that needs to say no to the advances of the enemy. A closed mouth is a closed destiny. If you say nothing, nothing will happen. But if you put your foot on the ground and from the days of John the Baptist, the kingdom suffers violence and the violence I came to prophesy wherever they are calling your name while you are sleeping. Holy Ghost! Any man or woman that has carried your name, your name of your children to a shrine. Holy Ghost! Holy Ghost! Holy Ghost! Any man that wakes up at night to make a contention. Holy Ghost! A few weeks ago, or a few months ago, I saw a picture on social media. A young girl, 
young girl she just graduated from high school Ivy League schools were bidding for her she was on fire Ivy League school we are bidding for her Yale says I want her Harvard says I must get her she was supposed to reply the following week that weekend she said let me go to Hawaii with my friends just to enjoy she went to Hawaii one stupid incident that makes no rhyme or reason she drowned somewhere an enemy has done this an enemy has done this any enemy around your life that is digging grave for you any enemy around your life digging a grave for your loved one any enemy around your life digging a grave for your children digging a grave for your loved one I profess let an angel push them there the beat they have prepared let the angels of Omega push them inside for he that digs a pit shall fall into the pit I profess somebody say Lord push them in the pit say Lord push them in the pit I will tell you this and we pray some time ago my father and the Lord told us a profound story about a young man this young man he was blessed he was raised by his uncle and then he went to the city and he went to school and he began to do well and very soon God blessed him his doors were open and so when he was blessed ah, this young man bought two cars he bought one for himself he bought one for his uncle and he drove both cars to the village and when he got to the village he went to his uncle he said uncle I just want to say thank you because when my father and my mother died it was you that raised me it was you that took me to school and today God has blessed me he said so I came to bring you a car to appreciate you and when the uncle heard this the uncle got real excited he said my son you bought me a car he said yes papa the car is outside and the father ran out he ran out when he got outside he saw two cars one was an SUV one was a sedan and so the man began to run towards the SUV and the, and the younger and the, and the niece said uncle sorry oh, that one is my own this Toyota Camry is what I bought for you the moment the uncle heard this his face fell he became angry he became upset he said how can me an uncle you bought yourself a big SUV and you bought me a small Toyota Camry child of God listen to me wickedness does not make sense quit asking who did I offend you don't have to offend them you can do good to them and they will choose to pay you with evil are you hearing me church ah and when this uncle heard that he became upset and the younger son didn't know the man took his car and was driving back home to the city unknown to him the moment he left the uncle took the car and he went to a tibia he went to a witch doctor and said to him he said can you imagine the insult my younger son has just brought to me he said he bought himself a big car to rub it on my face and he bought me a little car just to mock me and the witch doctor says so what do you want he said he's traveling now to the city I want to make sure he does not arrive at destination on his way let him get an accident and he will die on the road and the witch doctor said that is easy he brought out a mirror he said you will call his name three times and I should call his name any picture that appear use this knife to stab it 
child of God. And the Baba brought the mirror. And the man took the knife. He began to call the man's name. John! Oh! John did not appear. He called him the second time. John! Oh! John did not appear. The mistake this man made. He did not know that this John was a product of fire. He was an Omega child. A touch me not material. A monitor me you die material. So as he began to call his name. He said John. Oh, he called John the third time. Rather than John to appear. His own image appear. And the witch doctor said. He said this image now. Use this knife to stab it. And the man said, that is my image. He said, it's too late. And the image appear in this mirror must surely die again. For professor, anyone calling your name for evil, the name of your children, holla back fire. Holla back fire. Holla back fire. Lift your hands, say, my father, my father. Say my father, my father. My father, my father. As I begin to pray. As, as I, I begin to pray. Every evil. Every evil. That my enemy. That my enemy. Has prepared for me. Has prepared for me. In many parts of this earth. In many parts of this earth. I pray. As I pray. I can't pray. solely. I can't 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 solely. Evil day. Evil day. 
The Bible says it happened on a certain day. The boy woke up, ate breakfast, took a bath, went out, and they rushed him home. Somebody say evil day. Evil, evil day. day. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. Evil day are fabricated in the coffin. They have marked a day in their calendar, in their witchcraft calendar, that this is the day that they will do so and so. Lift your hands. Say, my father, my father. My father, my father. Every evil day. Every evil day. That has been marked. That has been marked. In the witchcraft calendar. In the witchcraft calendar. Against me and my house. Against me and my house. Against me and my loved one. Against me and my loved one. As I pray. As I pray. Cancel that day. I cancel that day. Cancel that day. I cancel that day. You shall not stand. You shall not come to pass. You shall not come to pass.
was a wizard by the name of Haman. The Bible says when Haman saw that Mordecai did not greet you didn't hear that. The issue of Mordecai and Haman was because Mordecai didn't say good morning. If you like, be gentle as a Christian. If you are too gentle, you end in a kettle. Somebody wants to kill another man. Not because he stole, because he didn't say good morning. I wish I were making this stuff up. Look at it. Look at it. He said when her man saw that Mordecai did not pay homage, did not say good morning, anger, he was filled with wrath. Kalana. Anyone that is angry, filled with wrath, and jealousy over your house, over your children. Jealousy to the point that they are taking your name to a shrine. I decree the evil they have imagined in their heart. Somebody say backfire. Backfire. Come on, say backfire three times. Backfire. Say it again. Backfire. Say it again. Backfire. evil against you. I command it to backfire. Amen. Amen. If you are watching online, like this message now. Like it now. Like it now. Like it now. Like it now. Look at this. The Bible says in verse number 6, it says, her man was filled with anger. And so because of this, the Bible says, he said, I will not just kill Mordecai. I will kill Mordecai. I will kill his mother. I will kill his children. Anything related to Mordecai, I will wipe it out. All because Mordecai did not say good morning. Many of you know the battles you are facing now. If God were to show you the reason and who is behind it, you will be shocked. The same person you gave money to is the one that took the money to a shrine. Manataba de He says, I will wipe out anything related to Mordecai. Look at this. In verse number seven, watch this. Verse seven. Verse seven, very fast. The Bible says, So in the first month, now put it in the NLT for me so you can understand. NLT. Everybody read NLT. And so the Bible says, So what? In the month of April, during the twelfth month of King Xerxes, Lot was cast before the presence of Haman. And the Lot was called Purim. Now, this Lot is called Purim. It's a charm. Somebody say a charm. A sorcery. And they cast the Lot. What was the intention? To determine the what? The best day and the month to take the attack. Ah. They took sorcery and they began to imagine can we attack in January? Will it work? The champ said no. They threw chicken bones. Will it work in February? They were searching from January to December to see the best month that the attack will work. Then finally they chose April. They chose what? And the day selected was what? March. When they go to the month of March, they say, is it March 1st? No. Is it March 2nd? No. Is it March 3rd? No. Is it March 4th? They now chose March the 7th. Somebody say, evil day. Evil day. I am showing you the street, the, 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 the way the enemies operate. They chose a uh, lift your hands. Say, Lord, I.
cancel. Lord, I cancel. Every evil date. Every evil date. Programmed in the cover. Programmed in the cover. Programmed in the shrine. Programmed in the shrine. Where they said that we cry. Where they said that we cry. They said that we lose a child. They said that we lose a child. I lose a loved one. I will lose a loved one. God of my father. God of my father. Rock, 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 rock,
When you read further, and the Bible says, when they chose much the seven, me they'll be very smart. The Bible says, when they chose much the seven, so Haman went and approached the king Xerxes. He said to them, There are a certain people done what? That are what? That are what? That are what? Please say that word. They are what? Scattered. They are what? Scattered. They are what? Scattered. I don't know if I can take two minutes. Two minutes to exhort on what scattered mean. When the enemy wants to destroy men, he scatters them. Are you hearing me now? When you watch when lions are hunting a herd of animals, they charge them so they can disperse because they know there is strength when they what? Gather. When they are gathered. The one that runs away from that gathering becomes a scapegoat. That is why the Bible says they were like sheep scattered without a shepherd. Be careful of online church. When you are close, you are, there are many of you watching me now. You live in Houston. You are praying, sipping tea in your, in your, in your, on your couch. And you are in Houston. I, I will take time and talk about this. Because this modern Christianity is the reason why they call your name in a shrine and you appear like a lamb ready for slaughter. You are praying a prayer like this. You are in Houston and you are in your couch. Manama, 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 manama. Are you joking? You think your enemies are joking? This online church, the only reason we preach online is to reach people who are far away, not those who are near away. There are many prayers and then they are doing. In fact, they are watching two things. They are watching this, watching this. Your enemies are waking up at night with, with vengeance in their heart. Be careful of online church. Be careful. When you have the option to be physically present in God's house, you choose online. Watch this. The Bible says, the, in the realm of the spirit, what Haman saw, number one, a people that are what? Scattered. Scattered. He saw it, a loophole. They were not gathered together. He said, all around your province, he said, they are separate from everyone else. They are Lord. Now look, look at the next verse. <laughs> next verse, look at verse number nine. He said, if he please the king, issue that a decree that they be destroyed and I will pay how much? Ten thousand dollars. I will pay ten thousand dollars. For their destruction, lift your hands. Anyone that has paid money to a shrine to destroy me and my loved one, anyone that has carried money to offer sacrifice, that has paid money to a shrine to bring tears to my house, to bring destruction to my family, anyone that has paid money on an altar to destroy me and my house, as I pray, let their money backfire. Amen. Let their money backfire. Amen. Let their money backfire. Amen. Let their money backfire. Somebody holla backfire three times. Backfire. Shut it some 
now in this house now they came to church now no offering in your hands you will pray now you will go home no offering in your hands and yet your enemy is paying ten thousand dollars ten thousand dollars Whatever it is, whether it's 10,000 large sack of silver or $10,000, 10,000 is 10,000. 10,000 large sack of silver. Lift your hands. Man Torah manias. Get angry. I said, Get angry. Say, Let their money backfire. Let, let their money, money backfire. Say, Let their money backfire. Let their money backfire. Say, let their money backfire. Let their money, money backfire. Say, My father, my father. My father, my father. Any man or woman, any man or woman, that has carried money, that has carried money to a shrine, to a shrine, to destroy my family, 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 to destroy
have you online whether you are watching or you are in house in the name of the Lord Jesus any man that has vowed to destroy your life anyone that has vowed that they will pay any amount of money as long as they can see you cry as long as they can hear men cry over you all that they have imagined in their heart they put that money on the altar it will backfire yeah. it will backfire yeah. it will backfire yeah. all of you watching online I want you to type backfire right now I speak over you in the name of Jesus wherever you are watching from in the nations of the world whether you are in Africa, you are in Europe, you are in London, you are in India, you are in Asia, anywhere you are watching from, any man that has paid money to want to frustrate you, to bring you tears, as you type backfire, their money will backfire. Never. Now watch it. Watch it. Next verse. Next verse. The Bible says, he says, I will pay, and the king agreed. Somebody said they agreed. Agreed. Come and say they agreed. They agreed. No wonder the Bible said, Don't hands join together. The wicked will not go unpunished. Anyone that have come in agreement with your enemy to destroy you, my God will punish them. Amen. Any Tibia that has come in agreement with your enemy, any witch doctor that has come in agreement with your enemy they want to connect together to cause you tears God said to tell you the horse and the rider they will drown in the sea the horse and the rider they will drown in the sea the horse and the rider they will drown in the sea strangers that will become friends to destroy you the Bible says in the day that Jesus Christ was being crucified he said Herod and Pilate they were in argument before they were keeping malice before Herod and Pilate they were not friends but they became friends to destroy Jesus Herod and Pilate they have been enemy all these years but when he came to they shook hands. Alamana, open your hand. Anevelehana ovada. Jakale ekumanada. Elehezuana kampaya. Anyone that has come in agreement with your enemy to destroy you. Anyone that have come together. The Bible says surely they will gather. But not by God. Every gathering against you. As Amen leave your mouth they scatter. Amen. I said they scatter. Amen. I said they scatter. Amen. I said they scatter. Amen. They shook hands together and the Bible said the king gave him authority and the Bible says in the next verse verse 11 verse 11 he said and the king he said the money he paid money in next verse verse 12 verse 12 he said so on April 17 the king's secretaries they will all perish amen the king's secretary we are summoned and the decree was written exactly as Amen dictated and they sent it by the king's highest officers, the governors and the respective province, and the nobles and each of the province in their own script, in their languages. And the decree was written in the name of King Xerxes, sealed with king's signet. Look at the next verse. Verse 13. And dispatches were sent with sweet messengers. Ah. <laughs> Sir, they use priority mail. No, 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 not priority. No, UPS doesn't, doesn't work anymore. They use FedEx. Overnight delivery. Not UPS, because that doesn't, doesn't work again. The 
they use DH, not DHL, FedEx. They wrote all these letters and they put it overnight delivery. The Bible says in swift messengers to all the prophets giving them orders. And the Bible says the young and the old, including the women and children, that they must be killed and slaughtered and annihilated in a single day. Somebody said, not my head. Not my head. The Bible says that this was scheduled to happen when? March the 7th. And the Bible says, ha, they scheduled it. Now watch what happened. Verse number 14, quickly. And the Bible says, and look at verse number 15. Look at 15. 15, quickly. It says, and the king's commandment and decree went out by sweet messengers. And the Bible said, then Haman, the king, and Haman sat down to drink. But the city fell into confusion. Haman and the king, they are drinking. Are you hearing me now? They are congratulating themselves. They are celebrating at the expense. Don't you understand, child of God, that why you are weeping? There are others who are popping champagne. They are excited that this is happening to you. But I came to prophesy. Anyone that wants to rejoice over your tears, they will cry your cry. Yeah. I said they will cry your cry. Yeah. I said they will cry your cry. Yeah. Rejoice that you are crying. Somebody say, Lord, Lord. they will cry my cry. 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 My father, 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 my father,
I love the word of God because in chapter number 9 of Esther and verse number 1 the Bible says when March 7 finally came <laughs> somebody says so on March 7 what day did they choose what day did they choose the Bible says so on March 7 the day that their evil was supposed to be put in effect the Bible says on the day somebody say on the day on the day that the enemies of the Jews they hoped to have power over them but the Bible said quite the opposite happened Rejoicing, you will be jumping now. If you had a joy, ah, yeah, man, ah, I wish you were jumping in your feet. He said the opposite happened. I came to prophesy whatever they have imagined against you, the opposite will happen. Amen. The opposite will happen. Amen. They say you will die. I came to say the opposite will happen. Amen. They say you will cry. I said the opposite will happen. Amen. They say you will lose a child. The opposite will happen. Amen. They say you will lose your job. The opposite will happen. Amen. They say you will get sick. The opposite will happen. Amen. Somebody shout opposite. Opposite. Shout opposite. Opposite. Shout it seven times. The opposite will happen. Who is it that says a thing? And it comes to pass. When Yeshua commands it not, how can they say you will cry? And you will are it will not stand. Hey, can I tell you opposite? They said you will cry. But guess what will happen? You will rejoice. Amen. They said you will cry. I said get ready for celebration. I said get ready for celebration. I said get ready for celebration. You are not hearing me. You are not hearing me. They said this year. Sometime around December. People were supposed to gather to say, to, 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 to tell you, accept my condolence. They were supposed to gather and they said, please accept my sympathy. They will not gather in your house. But child of God, I came to tell you, the opposite will happen. Amen. Listen to me. Men are going to gather around the month of December. But instead of condolence, it shall be congratulations. Amen. This year, yeah. 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 when the Lord shall come again, the captivity of Zion 
will be like them that dreamt. Then was a mouth filled with laughter, and our tongue with rejoicing. You don't serve that God. You serve a mighty God. He's the same yesterday. He's the same today. He's the same forever. When God says yes, no man can say no. When God lifts you up, no man can pull you down. God is on your side. Power on your side. Grace on your side. I'm a prince and fire. 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 Hands. Say every evil prophecy. Every, every evil, evil prophecy. prophecy. Every evil decree. Every, every evil decree. decree. Witchcraft agenda. Witchcraft agenda. Over my head. Over, over my, my head. head. The head of my children. The head of, of my, my children. children. As I pray. As I pray. The opposite will happen. The opposite will happen. happen. Whatever my enemies. Whatever my enemies. Every evil. Every evil. My enemies that my enemies imagine against me and imagine against, against my you. children and my children and my household and my household as I pray as, as I pray let the opposite happen 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 If you are watching online, type opposite. If you are watching online, as you're watching, just type, type opposite. Just type it. Type opposite. All of you online, type it now. Say opposite. Just type it. Opposite. 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 Everything they have imagined. As you are typing opposite, I say amen. I decree the opposite of what they imagine shall happen to you. Amen. amen. Now watch. Look at the next verse. Verse number two. Look at verse number two. Please take this wisdom. Somebody say take this wisdom. Take this wisdom. The Bible says... Mandos Kaba, put in the King James for me. King James, everybody watch. King James, everybody read. And now the Bible says, and the Jews did what? They did what? Gathered. What was the loophole that Naaman saw? Scattered. They scattered. For, for them to be secured, what happened? They gathered. To, to be exposed, what happened? Scattered. To be secured, what happened? Gathered. Be careful of online church. I'm talking to every one of you in Houston. Every one of you. If I am your pastor, be careful. It is a prescription by Almighty God. Unto him shall the gathering of his people be. The Bible says in Hebrews chapter 10 and 25 or so, or 26, 
the Bible says, he says, be not, do not forsake the gathering of yourself together as it is the manner of some. Especially as you see the return of Jesus Christ. In other words, as the end time approaches, be careful of separating yourself from the house of God. Be careful. Unto him shall be the gathering. The security of the Jews. Go back there. In Esther 9 and 2, he said, and they gather together. Be careful. All nine church is for two reasons. Actually, three reasons. Number one, for those who are far away, not those who are near away. Number two, all nine church is to reach the unreached. In other words, to win souls. Number three, online church is a supplement. Not the real fear, not the real food. Online church is for you as a what? Supplement. There are many now who have made online church their main church. They have no physical place they attend. You say, but pastor, in my area there is no fire food church. It doesn't matter if it is a water food church. Go there. It's a gathering as long as they call the name of Jesus there. They may not pray like we pray. It is still the body of Christ. Go there. When you finish there, come online. Telling you now, online church is not scriptural. It is modernized Christianity. Before I pray, the Lord said I should lay hands on a few individuals. If you are having dreams that suggest death, whether you see graves, people who die, you see lost one, dead relatives, you see graves, you see, just come out quick, let me lay hands on you. You have dreams, you are seeing things that surround death, come quickly. Come quickly, 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 quickly. Come there. Wherever you are, lift your hands and say, I shall not die. Say, I stand as a priest. Stand as a priest. Over my house. Over my house. Over my loved ones. Over my loved ones. They shall not die. They shall not die. Say, I cancel the spirit of death. I cancel the spirit of death. I cancel arrows. I cancel arrows. I cancel enchantments. I cancel enchantments. I cancel incantations. I cancel incantations. In the name of Jesus. In the name of I Jesus. I lay hands and I cancel death. I lay hands and I cancel death. In the name of Jesus, I cancel death. I cancel death. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I speak over your life. With long life, let him satisfy you. Amen. I cancel evil imaginations. Amen. I cancel the imaginations of hell. Amen. Not a hair upon your head will fall to the ground. Amen. Let your forehead be stronger than your enemies. Amen. I speak over your life. A thousand will fall at your side. Amen. Ten thousand at your right hand. Amen. No evil will come near your dwelling. Amen. Amen. From now to the end of the year. Amen. You will not shed tears. Amen. From now to the end of the year. Amen. You are protected. Amen. Amen. You are covered. Amen. I hide you. Amen. In the blood. Amen. Amen. His wings Amen. and the shadow of the Almighty. Amen. You are protected. Amen. You are protected. Amen. Your children protected. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Somebody celebrate Jesus. Whatever you are under this hot, terrific atmosphere, take up an offering in your hands. Whenever you pray like this, you must be liberal. Somebody say be liberal. For the Lord loves a cheerful giver. Be liberal in your giving. What your prayers could not do, what your fastings could not do, may your generosity do it for you. May your offerings do it for you. If you are watching online, you have prayed with us. Then go ahead and take any of the mediums available now and give God an offering. No matter where you are watching from, 
Whether you are watching from Europe, in Africa, anywhere in the world, use the mediums on the screen to give God an offering. Use that very quickly. While you are preparing your offering, I want to make a quick announcement. Please don't forget by this time next week. Someone say by this time next week. That means Friday. Friday next week we are having our sixth year anniversary. Please pay attention to this announcement. Next Friday is a fire night. Somebody say fire night. So if you come at 7 o'clock, you will just hang out. Eh? <laughs> what time does it start? What time? 9 p.m. Hallelujah. And our guest minister is all the way from New Jersey, Pastor Joe. He's coming with his dear wife, Pastor Sia. Don't miss that couple, I'm telling you. Don't miss them. We're going to have them the entire weekend. They're going to be ministering in fire night. Hallelujah. So if you are around Houston, I want to encourage every one of you in Texas, all of you in Texas, come stay the weekend with us. I'm inviting every one of you in Texas, wherever you are watching from, whether you are in San Antonio, you are in Dallas, you are in Austin, anywhere in the Texas axis, make sure you come on this weekend. Just stay, have fellowship Friday night, Saturday night and Sunday. Sunday you can go back. So three days of encounter. As a matter of fact, I am throwing this to every one of you watching from the nations uh, in America. If you have uh, the, the privilege to you know, just book a flight or drive down to Houston, I'm inviting every one of you, wherever you are watching from in America, take a flight, come on down. Take a flight, come on down. You know, book a hotel, check in somewhere. You're going to have three days of fellowship from Friday night Saturday evening and Sunday. So three days of encounter. Hallelujah. So I'm inviting every one of you. Hallelujah. On um, We're going to be having a guest artist also. Uh, Minister Shei Alish. Hallelujah. He is a wonderful saxophonist. He'll be leading us in some tremendous time of worship and praise. Are you ready for this weekend? Not this weekend. The coming weekend. What day? Friday the what? 17th, Saturday the 18th, Sunday the 19th. And on Sunday I have good news. Yay! Yeah, I said on Sunday I have good news. <laughs> on Sunday I have good news. <laughs> My God, my God, I can't wait, I can't wait. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So please go ahead now, cast your offerings, lift it up. Those of you watching online, please like this message now, like it now, all of you online. Use the mediums on the screen, give God an offering. Everyone in-house, please like this message now, like it now. All of you online, like now, subscribe. If you have not yet subscribed, please, I beg you from this altar. I, I'm, I'm appealing to you from this altar. Join me to win souls. I am not a YouTuber. No, I'm not. I'm a soul winner. There are so many souls on YouTube. So many souls. So please, join me in my effort to win souls. As you are subscribing, you are pledging to win souls with God's kingdom. So please subscribe. Hallelujah. Tomorrow morning, come back and leave a comment on this message. God bless you. Stand to your feet. Take up your offerings. Father, we thank you tonight. Because we have heard us. This is our confidence. That when we make a petition in your name, you hear us. And we thank you because the counsel and the plans of the wicked for us this year. Lord, it is dashed in pieces. Like a clay pot, it is broken in pieces. In the name of Jesus. The Lord bless our offerings. In Jesus mighty name. Say my head is a good head. My life is a good one. Favor is on my side. Mercy is on my side. Grace is on my side. In Jesus 